okay in this video we are going to learn how to make contingency tables or in other words make table of counts of data which is something similar to the pivot table functionality that is present in excel we will use usrs data set for this purpose so what table can do is just write table usrs let me use all the rows in the third column and that gives me the count of each of the values that is present in the third column which is urban population what this tells us is 32 is repeated once 44 is repeated twice and so on so the maximum value that gets repeated are 80 and 66 which gets repeated four times each this kind of a table may be difficult to to digest so we will make use of the cut and pretty functions we made in the previous video so this is how it works instead of passing the entire vector as it is I am using the I am converting it into ranges for each of the elements by using the cut and the pretty statements here and then passing it into the tables so this is something we get what it shows is the there are two values found between 30 and 42 7 values between 40 and 60 and so on that is 11 value between 70 and 80 like that so here pretty gave us like seven different ranges here if you are not happy with that you want to have lesser number of ranges you can specify that to say i want to have only four values or four ranges can give 4 as the second argument within pretty and get the ranges like this ok now let's get more detailed about tables so far we had only one vector passed into the table now we will deal with passing two dimensions into this table function so us arrests suppose we want to understand the relation between the urban population against the assault variable that is if urban population plays any role in determining the assault variables that is say we want to understand the number of assault cases as a function of the urban population we can express it in this fashion 